Hi everyone, in front of me I've got an Oppo Reno 10X Zoom and let me share with you how to uh, add the fingerprint to this device. So first of all let's enter the settings and now we have to scroll down to let's say this third section and tap on password and biometrics. Uh, right now in the biometrics at the very first position we've got add fingerprint option so let's tap on it and this is the very first step of adding the fingerprint so we have to add a backup password or um, or simply screen lock. Uh, it is because if for some reason the fingerprint sensor won't work, then you will still be able to unlock your device uh, without going through the hard reset operation, which will simply wipe out all the data. So let's tap on continue. And as you can see here, we can either enter the password or use a different password type. So we can pick the pattern four digit password, four to 16 digit password, password with four to 16 alphanumeric characters. So <laughs> simply pick the option you really like. I will stick with the pattern. And now, as you can see, we have to connect at least four dots. So let me draw the pattern. Let's redraw it in order to confirm. And as you can see here, we've got the tip that if we are using the screen protector, uh, so it may affect the fingerprint sensor, which is located on the screen, under the screen, let's say. Uh, so simply tap on OK. And as you can see here, we've got the sensor. And all we have to do right now is to simply put our finger on the sensor. And uh, when we will feel the vibration, we have to uh, take, uh, take our finger and again, place it on the sensor and do it multiple times in order to add your fingerprint fully, slightly change the position of it in order, of course, to add all of the edges of it for better recognition. As you can see right now, we have to unroll our finger. So simply just unroll it. <laughs> of course, again, for better recognition to simply catch everything. Okay, and as you can see, that's quite simple in this model, in this device. The fingerprint has been added successfully. If you want to, you can add another fingerprint. If not, just tap on done. And we've been immediately transferred to the fingerprint settings. Let's say options connected to the fingerprint. This is the fingerprint we just added. We can remove it if you want to just by tapping on the trash bin icon, but we can also rename it. And um, let's rename it because why not? It was my index finger. So let's tap on the stick icon to confirm. And as you can see, it is uh, immediately changed. What's more, you can add a fingerprint. I mean, another fingerprint, uh, probably, I'm not really sure, but probably you can add up to five fingerprints. Uh, under it, you've got the option uh, where you can decide for what you want to use the fingerprint for. And as you can see, the screen unlock is defaultly set. Uh, but after tapping on it, you can also pick it, I mean, set it uh, for the lock apps and private safe. It's up to you uh, if you want to use those options or not. I will leave it like this. Under it, we've got the fingerprint animation, which means that you can customize it. And as you can see here, we've got eight different options. I'm so sorry for the camera. Focus. <laughs> Please, okay. Uh, getting back to the animations, uh, we've got eight different animations from which you can choose if you want to change it, just tap on it. Here you've got the uh, also the preview of it, the animation, how it will look like. And um, I don't know which option I like the most. Okay, let's leave maybe this one. Uh, let's get a pack. And here you've got also the option screen off unlock, which means that here you can decide if you want to show the fingerprint icon, the fingerprint sensor when the screen is uh, turned off. And I will leave it like this uh, because for me it's more comfortable. So, okay, enough of talking. Let's check if the fingerprint uh, actually works. So let's lock the device. And uh, as you can see here, we've got the sensor and again, the camera is losing the focus. I'm so sorry about that. Because of that, come on, <laughs> come on camera. I have no idea what's going on with the camera, really. Okay, all right. Um, so as I said, uh, we had the fingerprint sensor after tapping, we should also have it, but unfortunately we do not have. Let me do it again. And here we've got the sensor. So let's put our finger on it. And as you can see, the device is immediately unblocked, which means that uh, we successfully added our fingerprint to it. And as I said, that you have to add the backup pattern. It means that uh, if for some reason, as I said, it won't work, um, then you will still be able to unlock your device using the pattern pin or password, which you've previously set. 
All right, so actually this is it. This is how to add the fingerprint in your Oppo Reno 10X Zoom. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that this video was helpful and if it was, please hit the subscribe button and leave the thumbs up.